Hey uh, YouTube, so I just finished taking my first shower post op. Um, it felt really good. Uh, it, well, kind of. It felt really good to finally like shower, but it felt a little weird because you're only allowed to let the shower hit your back. So the front side of my body was like really cold the whole time. <laughs> uh, so I don't like being cold, so um, I thought that the let you join me in like the first time I'm putting on my dressing. Uh, so yeah. Hmm. Oh, uh, just a word of warning. I guess like anesthesia can make you faint randomly, especially if you haven't eaten in the morning. Um, so I took off everything to get ready to shower and I just like collapsed like literally right here. Um, it was weird. I felt like really lightheaded and and then like my whole body got really tingly and then everything just went black. Um, <laughs> the next thing I hear, my doctor dad is like, I'll play the bathroom door, did you faint? <laughs> just like, yeah. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, okay, so this is the stuff that Dr. German gave me. This is um, the stuff that goes on your nipples. Uh, you cut it into little squares because originally it comes in like little pads like that. I don't, know what, I don't know if you can see that. Okay. So normally I check them here behind the camera to see like how everything is. Um, but it's fucked up because I just took a shower. <laughs> um, oh, but so I, I've been getting a lot of comments on my video that I just got. Um, I just wanted to say that I appreciate it. Uh, and that I appreciate the support everyone's been giving me so far. It's been really sweet and lovely and much needed. Um, in terms of like tips, I guess, that I've learned so far, um, make sure you're not really ever alone. Especially because like I just fainted, for example. Um, and if I had hit my head on something, it would have been bad. Okay, so you just put one of these on your nipples. Just like that. Oh, and when you dry yourself, you get out of the shocker, you pat and dry. Um, maybe you get antibiotic cream. And I used all this all in the video yesterday, but I thought it would be a little different experience. You know, DIY status as opposed to having the surgeon do it for you. It's really far. Um, the antibiotic cream that I bought is generic. Uh, which is the kind that Dr. Garamundi recommended. I got it from Target. I also got StarGuard from Target. They only do half ounce bottles though, and it's like 25 bucks. So, uh, antibiotic ointment. You'll find that um, the one I found first was antibiotic and came with a pain reliever. Um, and it's like twice the price of antibiotic ointment without pain reliever. So, I went without. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure uh, what the effect of like the pain reliever would have on the nipple graft, so I didn't I didn't go with that kind. So it seems like a decent amount. <laughs> Scary. Also, this is the first time that I've worn my towel around my waist and not cared, I guess, <laughs> which is really nice. Um, all right, and so then after that, um, I can't put scar guard yet until this falls off and it will fall off within a week, I guess, um, in terms of like close-up updates. Um, the bandages bunch together in the middle and make this like sort of front butt, I guess. Um, kind of insecure about that. Uh, I hope it goes away, but it's also, Dr. Yermini says it's smaller. Uh, and also like the bandages are there and so they bump into each other and like lift like a zipper of a jacket, and I would imagine. So um, I also plan on working out as soon as I can. Because um, working out used to like trigger my dysphoria because my chest. 
Um, and so, like, now, now that I can, it'll fold up my pack, and then that'll probably go away, even if it stays, um, after recovery. Uh, like we said now, I just put on these bandages. Um, Dr. Garamoni recommended that I just get, like, gigantic band-aids. So I did just that. Never used a huge band-aid. I got everything at Target, by the way. Um, This morning when I took them up were kind of sore because I had I slept with them on. I also had some really intense dreams last night. It was weird. Um, the dream that my partner came over and my birth mom was there, and like she made us go to church with her for some reason, and that was weird. And then like she tried to lecture me, and then I tried to, I would try to talk to her about like how I need this, and she would talk over me, and I told her I was like, if you're not gonna offer me, this is my dream. I told her, I was like, if you're not going to offer me the agency to speak out for myself, then I'm not going to speak to you ever again, because why bother? And then, like, my, my birth mom, like, in my dreams, started crying and, like, throwing her face. It was really weird. Um, but, yeah. I don't know if I should expect more of your dreams than some post op now. Um, but, yep, and then you're supposed to put band aids over here, too. So I guess I'm just going to use these big ones for say, um, since I didn't bring little ones into the bathroom with me. Um, so I got, I filed for food stamps a little while ago, and then there were some issues with my card. Um, and so I fixed that just before I went to, to Florida for surgery, and so my plan post off along with, like, food that other people plan on giving me, it's like, my, I'm planning on not paying, like, for food at all. Um, between, like, help from friends and help from the government. Um, so yeah, that's the hole that they were talking about. You can't see it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Um, and they said that shit closed within a week. But yeah, um, I recommend that when you shower, you don't lock the door. Um, you don't shower first thing in the morning, because that's what I did. I woke up and I was like, I don't want to shower and get this shit on my chest. <laughs> um, don't do that. Um, you know, give yourself time. Allow, allow your body that, that chance to, to recoup a little bit. Because um, this is, like, most people don't realize that this is, you know, it's an intense process. And it's hard on, it's hard on you emotionally, and it's hard on you physically. Um, and so, like, just be respectful enough of your body and, I guess, of your soul you know, to allow it to, to recoup, um, don't push it, I mean, I really had to pee this morning, for example, and my, my doctor's mom helped me out of the chair that I'm in, because it's really big, <laughs> I can't reach the, the little lever to stop it from reclining, and, um, and so I was like, I have to pee, and I normally do this, like, little run when I have to pee really bad. And I started to do that, and my, my whole chest was like, Poof, and I was like, oh, like, uh -huh. <laughs> like, don't, don't do that. Um, there are a lot of things that you don't realize that you do uh, that are actually really painful <laughs> stop. So just be mindful of those things, and um, make sure that you always have something with you. And, be aware of like your limits and respect your limits and just 
take take it slow, it's okay. Like you're not in a rush. Um but yeah, uh thank you for your support and I will talk to you all later. If there's anything specific that you want to know about, um just let me know and I'll make a video for you. Okay, bye.